Welcome back to the Keto Connect Kitchen, guys. We have a delicious recipe in store. We're gonna be making a creamy Instant Pot chicken. So it's super simple, and we're using our Instant Pot, which I love so much. You set it, you forget it, and the meat always comes out super tender and juicy. And today, we're gonna to be using chicken breast. You could definitely use chicken thighs, but we thought chicken breast would be a good route since it is high in protein, and we're gonna offset that protein with a lot of fat from that creaminess using some cream, and some cream cheese. We are going to set our Instant Pot to the saute function to get our butter melted down. And here we have a quarter cup or four tablespoons of butter we're gonna add in. And while the butter melts down, we're gonna season our chicken breast. Super simple, just salt and pepper. You don't need to over salt. There's gonna be a lot of salt in that cream cheese. And then for the remainder of the seasoning, we're just gonna be using a simple Italian blend that's pre-made. Really, I think any seasoning could go great. You could do a curry powder, you could do a five spice powder, uh, but Italian seasoning is just classic and delicious and simple, so we're gonna use that. So I'm gonna quickly sear the chicken breast, but you don't have to, this is totally optional. Um, it could add like a nice depth of flavor. A couple minutes each side, and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Once you've sauteed your chicken breast on high saute function, we are just going to add the rest of our ingredients. So that's one cup of broth. We have eight ounces of cream cheese here, so we're gonna add the entire package. We're gonna do two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, and then we're gonna do half a cup of heavy cream. That looks about good. Let's give this a little stir as much as we can. And those chicken breasts are doused and soaking in that creamy, buttery goodness. And that's what we're looking for. Okay, so that's it. As simple as that. So we're gonna turn our saute function off. We're gonna put the lid on. And then you're gonna wanna make sure your valve is to sealing because there's the venting and the sealing. So sealing. And we are gonna do manual pressure on high. So there's the low, there's the high. And then we're gonna adjust this time to five minutes. And that is that. So now we set it, we forget it, and then we'll come back shortly to give it a taste test. All right, guys, we're back and our Instant Pot creamy chicken is done. So it cooked for five minutes and then we allowed it to do a natural release instead of turning the vent to on. We just let it release on its own. That was about 10 minutes and that'll prevent the meat from getting like tough or rubbery. So we're gonna pop this open and see what we're working with. Yeah, that looks and smells great. The chicken is perfectly cooked through. So at this point, there's a couple different routes. We're gonna keep it simple and just go with this. But if you wanted to reduce it down, you could turn the saute function on and let it reduce, even add a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum and that'll thicken the sauce up. But I like it just like this. To complete this meal, I bought some store-bought zoodles and I just microwave them up so they're nice and tender. And I think this is the perfect base for a nice creamy chicken. So we'll pull out a piece of chicken. I'm gonna slice this up. Oh man, that is very tender. You could even shred this if you wanted. That would be really good. Now I'm gonna just put this right on top of the zoodles. We're gonna ladle on some of this delicious creamy sauce we got here. That looks so good. Okay, now all that's left to do is taste test. This is still very hot. Meat right out of the Instant Pot, there's just something so, I don't know, dreamy about it. It's tender, it's juicy. It soaks up literally anything you add to it. So the meat itself is creamy through and through. And then the zoodles are a nice little compliment. This is just a home run, guys, and it's so simple. Like I said again, change up the seasonings. You can make this like curry style, that would be really good. You can even use canned coconut milk if you wanna go the dairy-free route. Check out the link below. That'll take you to the recipe blog post on our food blog, ketoconnect.net, where you can get the ingredients, the recipe on how to make this, and a ton more other lunches, dinners, breakfasts, and desserts. So make this and let us know what you guys think. Thanks for joining us, we'll see you soon.